Rose stands shocked. Mum? Yeah, but apparently not the only mother here. Meet my new best friend. Or should I say, the mother of your boyfriend. Tech to you. As the TARDIS starts to crash and bang, as the wave of energy catches up with the family of time, Tech Tune begins piloting the TARDIS alongside the Tenth Doctor. The group watches in amazement and shock. Landing on Tech Tayun's ship, which exists outside of all time and space, on board the TARDIS, Tech Tayun explains herself to the Doctor, explaining who she really is and what has happened, and explaining how she's been watching over every reality. However, somehow timelines from this reality have begun to split. She has monitored what she can, but some, even for her, she can't cut off. She has seen countless timeline changes. A timeline where the Doctor dies on the planet Midnight. A timeline where his ninth and 10th cells bigenerate. A timeline where he uses the Delta Wave and even a timeline where he eventually joins the Master. But more and more timelines lead to the detonation of the Reality Bomb, which is causing total multiversal event collapse. She tells him this timeline shifted simply because Rose held on. Jackie explains her universe was collapsing, and Pete sacrificed himself and their entire universe to send her somewhere. Something Pete called the blip, an energy existing outside of all reality, and that just so happened to be Tectayun's ship. Rose opens the TARDIS door looking out. She speaks confused and shocked. Uh, Doctor? My want to see this. Everyone rushes out on the TARDIS onto Tech Tayun's ship, seeing variants of different people across several different timelines. The human doctor from Midnight, the ninth doctor that used the Delta Wave, the bio-generated tenth doctor who stopped the Valyard, the twelfth doctor that stood with Missy, and Jack Harkness from where the ninth doctor bi-generated. He too used the Crucible as a scanner and then found Tech Tayun. Tech Tayun shows a monitor. Many timelines still work, some stabilise themselves as close as they can, and others actually do return to normal, but more and more are leading to the reality bomb's detonation. Only with all these doctors and friends can they together stop what is causing these branches and save the multiverse. The cloister bell rings, Tech Tayun runs to a monitor in her lab and shows them 18 billion more timelines just had their reality bomb detonate. They are running out of time. Using modified dimension cannons, the group head off separated into the collapsing multiverse to try and locate the cause of why timelines keep splitting. Tech Tayun heads off with the evil 12th Doctor to a timeline where the Doctor stayed human. Donna, Martha, Rose and Ten head off to a universe where the Cybermen win the Battle of Canary Wharf. Jack and Nine, who used the Delta Wave, head to a universe where the Time Lords won the Time War, alongside the bioregenerated 10th Doctor. The Human Doctor and Jackie then monitor Tech Tayun's ship for further timeline shift. As the groups head out into the multiverse, they learn every single time a timeline relates back to the Doctor, but more specifically to a death of a Doctor. The Doctor died in Midnight causing those events, the Ninth Doctor died on Satellite 5 causing those events, the Eleventh Doctor technically dies and becomes the Valyard leading to those events, the Twelfth Doctor dies leading to the Thirteenth Doctor becoming ruler of Gallifrey leading to those events. The Ninth Doctor dies by a Dalek, leading to those events, and the Metacrisis Doctor is never born, leading to those events. Eventually, the Doctor dies and the universe collapses, either via a reality bomb or something else at a later date. Returning back to the lab, the group asks Tectune how events should have gone down. She explains to them how they should have happened. 
but something on the main timeline is leading to splits across everything, growing at an increasingly and dangerous rate. The base begins to shake and break apart, Martha fades from existence as does Rose, reality is falling apart and they are almost out of time. The doctors put their heads together and frantically connect the TARDIS to Tectoon's ship and her timeline scanner. If they can correctly pair the two, they could predict the future of the timeline. Tectoon explains that at this point in the current timeline, she is actually in line with them, at what she calls the journey's end. So if the TARDIS can be used to predict the future of the main timeline for them, they could isolate what is causing this. Jack fades, and then Jackie. Donna feels her head burning, but why? With the power of all the doctors present, they connect Donna's mind, stepping through like a door. She is the key. They see the timeline that should have been, and is and will be. Dalek Khan's prophecy, the Doctor Donna, this, this, was and is his prophecy. Donna and the Doctor are the key. The Doctors break link with Donna in a flash as they see something. They are unsure what it is, but it's on a pelipad with Melanie? The TARDIS and Tectoon ship isolates the point, and we see on the monitor as the 14th Doctor's bi-generation occurs. That's the point. That's the cause. When the 14th Doctor bi-generated, it caused every Doctor ever to die and be reborn in a new timeline where they bi-generated. This was enough to shatter the stability of time itself and lead to countless other timelines changing that couldn't compensate themselves, leading to that universe collapsing. The ship then begins to collapse itself. If the 14th Doctor's bi-generation is meant to happen, that then wouldn't cause the total event collapse. Therefore, if the 14th Doctor didn't bi-regenerate, then it would. So all they need to do is make sure that the 14th Doctor always bi-generates. Tectayun and the Doctors prune the what-if timelines where 14 doesn't bi-generate from existence, and suddenly, the ship begins to stabilise. They've done it. All they need to do is make sure that 14 always by generates. Tectayun explains some universes like 9's Delta Wave universe and 9's Biogeneration universe will still end in catastrophic ways, but that must be allowed to happen naturally without interference. Time to put things back in place. Tectayun sends off the Doctors to their set timelines and vows to monitor the timelines for the rest of existence, making sure 14 always by generates. With the multiverse saved, the future, present and past of every reality is restored. But what will happen when in the main timeline, Tectayun has a slight change of heart, and Tectayun dies to the hands of Swarm and Azure? <laughs> And there we have it, a special What If episode. I am Forsyth, I have been running these What Ifs solo, but we, yes we, will be returning to your screens in two weeks, with an actual team of people working on these, bringing you these What Ifs in an updated animated style, while still also staying true to the style that exists. So folks, we will see you for the next set of What Ifs on the first Tuesday of March. Until then folks, enjoy and remember when watching Doctor Who, always ask the question, what if?